Hi everyone, welcome to the Mama Elephant YouTube channel. This is Rena. I hope you've been enjoying the April release so far. As always, the release will drop on the 15th. Okay, y'all, let's just dive right into Boba Tea. How cute is this? I loved it. I colored so many images. It is so fun. You can color it different colors, any colors you want. Um, I did want to note that it does come with little kawaii faces. I didn't use them for my projects today, but I didn't want you to not notice them on the stamp set. I also really love all of the different punny sentiments it includes. Love the little critters on this one, especially the dog and the bunny holding the little bobas. Um, the little bobas or the bubble teas, they can come in different colors. I kept it traditional with the brown color, but you can color them any color you want. As far as my favorite stamp of the stamp set, of course, it is the drink with the monkey hanging on the side. So cute. Here's a look at the coordinating dies. I did want you to note the two bottom kind of drinks have that little square on the inside. Um, I kept mine attached to the drink because you can make a shaker card. Um, you can definitely detach it and line it up. But for me personally, whenever it's like a shaker element type die, I like to keep the window opening die attached to um, the main die so I don't have to keep lining it up. But it's definitely your preference. My preference is just to um, <laughs> not the least amount of times I have to line something up the better. Here is a new Creative Cuts die set. This is Boba Shaker Combo. So cute. We're gonna go over all the different pieces and this die set works well with the Boba T stamp set. Also wanted you to note that cup on the lower left quadrant. Um, it has a little die set that comes with nine bobas. I like to detach that. But as far as the cup and the square inside the cup, I like to keep those two dies attached. You'll also want to make sure you keep those attached as well, but definitely detach the nine bobas. I feel like that was an intense description of everything, but I just wanted you guys to know everything about the products. So let's go ahead and color Boba Tea. I'm telling you, you guys, this was so fun to color. I colored so many images. Um, the first one I'm gonna color here is the little kitty and his little boba drink. And these drinks, if you Google image them or look them up on Pinterest or even Instagram, they come in all sorts of fun, yummy pastel colors. So you can really color it any any color you want. Um, this particular one, I'm coloring in kind of like a, a tea color. Um, I did have the Copic markers in the beginning of this um, before coloring this. And I'm coloring all of the bobas in that brown color. Um, I do know that they come in different colors in real life, but I just kept it with the regular brown. So next we're gonna color my favorite image. This is the monkey in the cup and it's so cute. I'm coloring it in a green tea sort of color scheme. So cute. And I colored all of the glasses like in aqua and I went like hard with the aqua instead of soft, but I'm not mad at it. I <laughs> I like kind of like, um, I liked how it turned out even though glass isn't that green or blue in real life. Um, for the objects that are kind of mixed around in the liquid, like the straw and the bobas, you'll notice that I'm coloring them, um, the color of the liquid and the color of what it is. Um, just because it's in the liquid, it'll have like kind of a different color to it. Um, just like when I colored the first one, um, I tried to mix in that tea color with the body color of the kitty. We were having a really good coloring day for this um, set of images. Oh my goodness. 
there's just some days where I can't color a thing and I'll keep trying and it is like a hot mess. But today, like everything I colored was amazing. Well, it felt amazing and everything was like smooth and like going my way and it was like so awesome. I know guys, this is a lot of coloring. I'm trying to color like one of each image. Um, so the next one I'm gonna color is one that you can um, create into a shaker if you want because the coordinating die has that little window piece. Um, if you don't want to make the shakers, you can detach it, but I like to, again, um, keep that window attached to the main die so I don't have to keep lining it up. Um, I will be making a shaker later on with these coordinating dies just so you can see how to make one and my preferred way of doing that is to cut a bunch of the layers and to stack um, five or six of them together depending on the thickness of your paper um, to create that shaker well. So this one I believe I'm coloring it in a Thai tea color. Thai tea is um, my favorite drink. I love it, especially when it's super strong and it's like super sweet. I love it. Um, here is the next one. I'm going to color it in kind of like that purple yam color. Um, I just realized I don't have the uh, marker colors. I might have forgotten to um, take a video of it, but I believe this was V17, v V16. V12. <laughs> um, I'm not good with purple, so it's probably the only purple markers I have. Um, here I'm going heavy with the aqua because I just feel like going heavy with the aqua. Um, and then here are the two little critters. How cute are these guys? And again, I'm coloring the bobas in the typical tapioca brown color. Um, and I love these little guys um, because you can put them in your scene and they can be jumping around and, you know, throwing the bobas at each other. Okay, let's make a card. I'm using the Slim Card Basics set again. I just fell in love with this Creative Cut set. I've cut out the rectangle with the stitching detail on the outside, and I'm just doing some ink blending. I'm doing a gradient between the Ocean Mama Elephant ink and the Fresh Mint Mama Elephant ink. Um, but you can use whatever ink um, you have in your stash. Um, I'm going to take um, the images that we colored. Um, for this card, I'm going to keep the images simple. For the next card is where I'm going to make a little shaker with the coordinating dies. But here, I'm just placing all of the different um, images in a row. And then I'm also going to stamp out one of these sentiments on a speech bubble. Um, I did cut out the scallop piece from the Slim Card Basics die set, and then I'm just mounting that rectangle piece um, on top of it. I'm taking that whole entire thing and adhering it to a white card base. I loved this card in person. It was like really thick and really nice. Um, there is the speech bubble from the Slim Card Basics die set. I used one of the sentiments to my favorite QT. So adorable. I'm actually going to give this to someone in real life. Here's how to make one of the uh, shakers. So I have die cut the piece out with the little window and you can see the window cut out there. I colored the front of the piece and then I cut an acetate to cover that window. So I'm going to start to make my shaker. And then I've cut out just a bunch of those layers with the window. And if you stack them up, it'll be thick and that'll create a shaker well. So then I will adhere my colored image on top of it. And that colored image had the acetate attached to it. And there is the backer piece. And the way that I made the backer piece is I cut out the cup with the window, but then I taped it together again. So it was one solid piece. 
And after I put my sequins in the back there, I'm going to use that backer piece to close that mini shaker down. It's so cute in person because it's so tiny. Um, but I, for me personally, the best way to create the shaker is to um, cut out several layers and stacking those layers together to create your shaker well. So to continue on with this second card, and I do have pictures in the end, I'm using the Slim Card Basics again, and I'm using that rectangle piece with the three openings. I just love that uh, combination um, going vertically. I'll take all the images that we colored, and in that middle, I'm putting that little shaker that we made. Um, and I just love all the little sparkly stars that I put inside it. And then for the bottom, I had just some extra boba images. I wanted to kind of ground that image, so I added two little bobas on the side. So it looks like there's boba spilling out. Um, simple card. Um, I'm going to foam mount it on the craft piece, which I've cut out using the uh, scallop rectangle piece from the Slim Card Basics die set and then that whole thing will go onto a white card base. I loved this card. Okay, now for the third card, we're going to be using the Boba Shaker combo. See these two cups here? The one to the left that I'm touching right now, you want to keep that inner piece and that cup together and attached. And you'll see that you'll make that frame piece. And that frame piece is what you're going to be cutting a bunch of to make your shaker. So just make sure to keep those two dies attached. So I'm just showing you what all those pieces look like after they're cut. It comes with uh, three cute little toppers, a regular cup, a rounded, and then also kind of a teddy bear shape. It also comes with um, a fat straw and then a label for your coffee, a whipped cream that you can put underneath the, um, the domed cup. It comes with kawaii faces, a heart. That skinny oval thing is what you create a hole and you can put your straw through. Um, so here's just some different combinations um, that you can do. I'm sure there's more, but there's like your regular kind of basics cup. And then there is with the kind of teddy bear head with the um, fat boba straw. And then you can use that skinny oval die to cut the opening on the topper to slide the straw through. Um, so I'm just kind of showing you just all the different combinations, but I'm sure you can think of other ones. That heart doubles as bunny ears if you want to use that as well. I forgot to do that. Um, and just using the straw whenever um, you want or not using it. And remember that you can always make um, your drinks a shaker as well. So there are different ways to color up your die cuts. So I like doing the ink blending because you can achieve a little bit of a gradient um, by just doing the outer edges of your die cut and just ink blending it that way. Or you can also use Copic markers. I kind of like to save my Copic markers for just coloring images. Um, these shakers are kind of big and I don't really want to waste ink. Um, or you can cut these shapes directly from colored paper. Um, I'm demonstrating here how to make the hole. So you take that skinny die, you cut your die cut, and then you can put your straw through. It's super cute. So now we'll create a shaker. So I've cut several of these frames here, and then I've cut some acetate to size and I've adhered it to the back of that. And then behind the acetate, we're gonna do several layers of the frame so we can create a shaker well. Now, it all depends on you how many layers you want. I kind of gauge um, with how thick my paper is. If it's like a 110 that I'm using, maybe I'll use like three or four. Um, 
but also how much you want to fill it. If you don't want to fill it too much, then use less layers. Um, so I'm kind of looking at how many layers I want. Of course, I always like to go big and um, use a lot of shaker filling. Um, so I'll do like maybe five layers. So here um, I'm filling up the shaker well. I've cut out the little bobas using chocolate paper. And then I'm going to be filling it in with some different other sequins. I like using those silver stars and I always like using gold stars. It's like one of the things that I always put into a shaker mix. Um, so I just want it to look super full and super sparkly. When I'm happy with how much it's filled, I will put my backer piece. I cut the backer piece using the other die that cuts the solid cup. Um, and then I took one of the insides of the framed cups and it was ink blended with mint ink. And I wanted the mint to show so I adhered that insert into the solid so you could see it through the shaker. Now I'm going to put all of my pieces together. I did want to stamp out a sentiment and I thought it would be fun to stamp it out on one of the smaller cups. So I made the smaller one using one of the insert pieces and then the little whipped cream on top. And then I'm gonna stamp out to my favorite QT and that will be my sentiment. So I didn't end up using some of these because I think I just made too many <laughs> and they didn't all fit. So toward the end, I had to like make some decisions on which ones to use. Um, so I ended up using four. Um, I kind of made this card on the fly, so I didn't really have a plan. So I'm just kind of making it as we go. I figured it would be cute to have a little cloud in the background and I only used four. Um, so that's what I did and then it still felt a little empty to me so I just kept piling on stuff to this card. Um, but I just loved how all of these came together. I like all of the different combinations that you can make with the drinks and adding the straw or deciding to you know make a shaker. Um, so when I was looking at it I felt like I needed more lightness so then I added this little landscape hill piece in the back and that's using the Slim Card Basics set. And then I decided we're missing critters. <laughs> so I colored more critters from the Boba Tea set. And this Boba Tea set goes really well with this Boba Shaker combo creative cuts. So I just love these little guys. So I decided to put them there. And then I decided, oh, we need more. <laughs> so I had a lot of images that I colored to the side. So I did color these Bobas in kind of like a strawberry color. So we're adding that there. I'm just kind of adding color to the right side of the card. The finished card will also have different boba pieces at the bottom of the cups just to add more color. And that's it. Those are my three boba cards. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a lot of information but I wanted to make sure that you guys knew how to make all of the little shaker elements. That's it. I'm calling these cards done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The release drops on April 15th, 12 a.m. Eastern Time. Also, make sure to stop by the Mama Elephant blog for the Stampede, which starts on the 15th. Make sure you follow all of the designers' blogs. They'll be making some awesome projects with all of these new products. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a nice day. I will see you next time, and stay safe. Bye, guys.